everybody, I thought I would just take you on a drive with me while we just chit chat a bit. I just was inspired just to, um, I've been vegan now, uh, me and Chris, for over two years. And um, a lot of people I work with or people I run into always ask questions like, where do you get your protein? Um, isn't it hard? Uh, stuff like that. Um, and you get protein in almost anything you eat. Most of the fruits and vegetables, they carry all the amino acids your body needs. And proteins, they're made up of amino acids. They're chains of amino acids. Um, so if you eat all the fruit, especially greens, greens have a lot of amino acids in them, then um, you work out, you know, you need protein to build muscle, your, your body will take those amino acids, turn them into protein, and help you build the muscle you need to um, gain the muscle you want. And um, is it hard? No, it's not hard. Um, it was probably the easiest thing I ever did. I understand why it's hard for some people. Um, you know, like with cravings and like you, you're used to eating these meals and your body is used to associating this with like, like a chunk of meat as a filling meal. But um, after going vegan, like I just felt better. I went through a detox stage. I did have a lot of stomach pains and I felt sick at times, but Chris and I did a lot of research and we knew that was going to happen, so we were prepared. Um, we drank plenty of water. We um, we actually went fully raw for like the first quite a few months before we started eating cooked foods again. We started eating cooked foods probably a little bit a uh, month or less before we moved into the van um, because we weren't sh a lot of the stuff we made raw was um, hold on. A lot of stuff we made raw, we used a food processor or a blender for. Like we would eat smoothies a lot, um, or like I would make like banana ice cream, uh, which is amazing, or like some pudding out of stuff. Or we'd make like uh, walnut like meat stuff. <laughs> I don't know, because uh, we'd have like raw tacos a lot and stuff like that. Um, Moving into the van, we started eating more cooked foods, and um, we, would, we would make a bunch of burritos ahead of time, and we'd put them in an ice chest. We don't have an ice chest anymore because it just became too much of a hassle with the uh, ice, having to dump the ice, and sometimes the ice would get into our food, and then we'd be all soggy, and then we'd have to take everything apart and make it, and it was just a pain. So we don't have that anymore, um, an ice chest, so we eat more, like, things right away. We don't like prepare meals, we just make them as we go. Um, which is a lot easier. Let me just turn this corner. Ugh. Okay. Um, which is a lot easier, especially since we eat raw most of the day. Like, I'll have like a smoothie in the morning, like a pre-made, like, adwala type of ordeal. Um, or like, I'll get like a vega, like, meal shake and I'll put it in my little water thing and I'll eat that for breakfast. I don't really like to sit down and eat a meal for breakfast. I kind of like to get up and go, especially since I work so early in the morning. I work, you know, like sometimes seven o'clock in the morning, sometimes, you know, as late as 8.30, 9 o'clock in the morning. Very rare do I work that late in the morning though. Um, so I don't really like to get up and have to prepare a lot of stuff or eat that early. So I usually get up and get ready and I just start drinking some water and then I'll sip on either vega or some kind of vegan um, meal shake uh, powder stuff or I'll have like a pre-made store-bought smoothie um, for breakfast and then I just bring a bunch of fruit to work and I'll cut it up and prepare it at work so I get an hour lunch so I have plenty of time to make food and eat it um, and then dinner time you know sometimes we'll go have something cooked still like we're moving off that like go get a vegan burrito or go to the market and get some vegan grub um, that's already made or my favorite thing to do is to get a bunch of vegetables and non-sweet fruits and stuff like that and make some kind of salad uh, at night which is really fun um, the cleanup sometimes is an ordeal um, 
I'm trying to make it fun, you know, like make it seem fun because doing dishes is kind of fun. It's just a lot when we have to take off the table and stuff like that, but no big deal. That's a lot of fun to have those meals and you, I like makes you feel the best. So it's like having live foods, like fresh foods, like your body just feels light, you're ready to go. Um, do like anything like I love, like after work, uh, I mean after lunch at work is when I feel like the best. I just had like a whole bunch of fruits like my body just like absorbs all that energy and just like let's go you know like let's do this thing and um so second half of work is a lot of fun first half of work I get there early and it's just kind of I'm still waking up and even though I wake up uh two hours before I work just so I can like shake the sleep from my eyes and kind of get into the mindset of working and stuff like that but anyways that's about my meals, but this is topics about vegan. Um, but eating vegan is just so good for the environment. Like, I feel great. Like, it's just so much fun. Like, people don't understand it. They think it's hard, but it's like, it's only really hard for like that first, you know, initial month or two or, you know, depending on how much toxins are in your body and how raw you're eating and how clean you're eating. I mean, you can feel it, like, when we moved to the Santa Cruz area, there's like a Whole Foods here and they have like a bunch of vegan junk food. So Chris and I, we went crazy on the vegan junk food and we gained like some fat that we don't, we're not really, you know, obviously excited about, but um, we still feel good, you know? I mean, not as good, I don't, you know, definitely not as good as when I was fully raw and eating a bunch of live foods and you know, exercising a lot more and all that stuff. There's a cute little doggy here with a rain jacket. It's so cute. Um, oh, look at you. And um, you just feel great, you know? My problem is drinking enough water. I'll admit I don't drink enough water, but I'm working on drinking a lot more water. And um, that's really important to just keep your body, like, flowing. You know, drink some water, like... You know, if you're going through some detox symptoms and you're just having like a stomach ache, you know, just sip on some water, like maybe put some lemon in it, you know. Lemon water really helps, you know, helps you detoxify and, you know, it could, like, I think that's what helped me a lot too is when I first went vegan, I would, I would have a lot of lemon water or lime water or I'll put lemon and strawberry in water. Oh, it's so good. It's like strawberry lemonade, you know. But, um, yeah, anyways. If you're trying to do the vegan thing, you know, go for it.